Good morning, YouTube. Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. Welcome back from your long weekend, and we have got gold down $1.50 to $2,498, below $2,500, and silver down $0.17 cents to $28.35. We don't want to see it close down here uh, unless you're looking for lower prices. Okay, the gold-silver ratio has spiked again, and we are at uh, 88.32, pretty darn high, with an upside to, um, oh gosh, I don't think we get over 90 here, so I think we're approaching the higher end of the GSR, which would be uh, good for silver. All right, the 10-year is unchanged at 3.911. I guess the Fed has stopped buying 10-year uh, bonds. Uh, rates are high in spite of... Ra rates are making a counter-trend rally upwards in spite of people expecting a <clears throat> pretty sizable Fed rate cut in the next uh, week or two. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why rates are escalating. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar up again as well to 101.835. Everyone who thought it was going uh, to 100, including myself, uh, seems to be wrong temporarily as the dollar spikes back up. Let's get a little longer chart on this, maybe a year-to-date chart. Yeah, it's in a you know significant downtrend, and uh, I don't see why it is spiking today. Okay, copper uh, and copper is up 4.3 cents, trying to arrest the fall right around four dollars. It wouldn't uh, wouldn't stick at four. Now it's at 4.04, but there is more negative news coming out of China. Goldman Sachs uh, downgraded copper. And uh, people are saying the Chinese stimulus that we were banking on last week may not come to pass. So we'll have to see what happens in the copper market. Right now it is somewhat constructive, but silver and copper traveling together like brother and sister here on the industrial side. The U.S. economic calendar today, we have uh, the S&P PMI, we have construction spending and the ISM manufacturing uh, index. I can't imagine that will be strong. It has been under 50. Uh, let's see. And Wednesday, tomorrow, we have trade deficit, job openings, factory orders, Fed Beige Book, and auto sales. Okay, the job openings, um, that could move the markets. So we'll have to see what happens tomorrow in terms of if it's a weaker job market, that'll be good for metals. If it is a stronger job market, that will not generally. And then on Thursday, ADP unemployment. I would expect that to be extremely weak. However, we've got the government initial jobless claims coming out the same day, which uh, may or may not be uh, factual. But uh, ADP is more of a real-time survey and... Uh, I would expect that to be pretty weak. That could move markets as well in our direction, I would think, if you want the direction to be higher. Okay, we've got the pre-markets. The Fear Greed Index is at 63, squarely in the greed category, um, and Dow, uh, Dow futures are punishing uh, optimistic investors appropriately here at uh, down 214, S&P down 29, NASDAQ down 127 with not much happening um, in the 10-year uh, yield. Interesting. Okay, let's get on to the deals, and it is cheaper today than it was yesterday, so let's see what we can find. We got a one-tenth gold eagle at uh, 284 at Liberty. One-tenth maple, 279 at Liberty. One-tenth Britannia, 259 at Liberty, best of the uh, one-tenth metals. Move on to a quarter ounce uh, Britannia, 657 at Liberty. Quarter ounce Random, thinking about it, it's thinking about it. Here we go, 631, that's not coming down much, interesting. Uh, and that will not be an Eagle, a Britannia, a Philharmonic. It'll be something totally strange, most likely. Best quarter ounce Eagle. Oh, out of stock. Uh, let's see, one tenth, one half. What happened to my quarter ounce Eagle? Gold Eagle. Guess they sold out. 
Okay, we'll have to fix that. Um, and best half ounce gold eagle at bullion exchanges, 1,312. One half ounce maple, 1,262 at bullion exchanges. One ounce gold eagle, 2,582 at bold. One ounce buffy, 2,563. I would always get the buffalo over the eagle if you're buying. That's at bullion exchanges. We've got a one ounce maple at 2,517 bullion exchanges. We've got a Britannia, same place, 2,524. And a Krugeran, the lowest of the low, 2,504 at bullion exchanges. Moving past the Libertads and the Corona at spot, uh, we'll go right to the 20 franc. The 20 franc is 475 for Napoleon at Apmex. And one ounce gold in assay, if you haven't picked up the spot deals yet, don't forget those. One ounce gold in assay, 2,519. I'd get that Britannia probably over that. Okay, Platinum Eagle's getting cheaper again. Boy, Platinum, I don't know what to say about it, but Palladium is what's really rolling here. 1,073 at Hero Bullion. Uh, let's just take another look at Platinum and Palladium. So uh, platinum down $17. Man, it was nearly at 1000 the other day. Real volatility in the markets right now. And palladium down $20. But look at palladium at $944 over platinum at $909. Very interesting. And moving on to uh, palladium bar. What are they charging for those? $1,134 today. All right, Silver Eagles, one at spot at Bullion Exchanges. Remainder of the tube, cheaper at Bold, 32.84. And then in a quantity of 20 at Pinehurst, 32.11. Wow, look at that, $32 Eagles. See how cheap we can get them on eBay. We do gold first, then we do silver. Uh, we do Costco, then we do eBay uh, to see where we can get things cheapest, and then we do picks of the day after that. Nothing new at the U.S. Mint. My green light is still on. We're having a bit of a smackdown today, but uh, we will see what happens as we get into these economic numbers. I think we'll be good for metals, but uh, right now, uh, weakness in China seems to be putting a dampener on silver. Gold, well, gold is always strong, and right here is an excellent buy. Almost any time is an excellent buy for gold. Okay, and moving on to maples, one at spot at bullion exchanges. Remainder of the tube, same place, 31.22. There is a deal for cull maples, I believe a little under $30. Um, so uh, uh, ask me about that if you're looking for cull maples, but I would just get the Philharmonics here rather than get the cull maples. One kangaroo at spot at bullion exchanges. Remainder, 30.98, same place. Uh, the uh, Britannia is 30.53 at bullion exchanges, and the Philharmonic has been really cheap and now is the cheapest I've seen it. 29.77 for a random year Philharmonics that are not all will be perfect, but most are uncirculated. Some have milk spots. Well, you'll have to see what you get if you buy that deal. Uh, we'll check eBay as well. Uh, on Costco, they have not dropped their price, and the only thing up is the Buffalo. Is it still up? So I didn't do an alert to members of the website, bestsilvergolddeals.com, and the Buffalo is out of stock. Let's check the American Eagle, one ounce uh, American Gold Eagle out of stock. So people were buying that at $2,599 and then taking a 10% uh, discount. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> taking a 4% discount, 2% uh, credit card and 2% executive club membership on those uh, to get it around 2500 but it should, price should come down a little bit. Okay, if you're buying junk, you can get over to Monument Metals and pick up these uh, quarters and dimes at 20.98 times face. Or if you want walkers, you can do the same thing and it is 21.81 I don't think I would pay up for those, but I would always pay up for Mercs, and those are 22.7 times face for Mercs, and maybe cheaper on eBay. On a 10-ounce bar, we can get a 10-ounce bar for 293.50 at Monument. We can get one for 295 at BGASC. We can get one for 295 at Golden Eagle. 
Well, you get it, right. How about the one ounce rounds? Are they still on sale? 29.82 for rounds at Golden State Mint. Yes, they do have free shipping over a certain quantity. And uh, I'll be watching CNBC for any releases here in five minutes. We've got uh, Sunshine Mint Buffaloes, but you got to get down to the quantity of 20. Look at that, 20 Sunshine Buffaloes at 29.56. I like that. Okay, can't do much better than that, can we? Uh, how about a kilo? A kilo going for 9.58. Uh, melt is going to be closer to 900 on a kilo in case you haven't done the math recently. Uh, we can also get this uh, JBR bar for 961. All right, let's look at eBay and see how cheap the libs can get. The libs are 833. If you're still buying libs, collector coins taking a bit of a beating here because, uh, well, when markets are down, people stop buying. 33.32, you get those for about 32.40. $32 libs, wow, wowie kazowie. How about eagles? Give me a deal here, guys, if you're buying. Hopefully you kept some money aside. Uh, we've got the culls at 32, so the culls will be 31 on the American Eagle. And the BU, 33.50, the BUs will be about 32.50. And uh, how about a lot of 100? Uh, okay, I'm not sure about the 100 lot. All right, in the maple category, maples are 797. Britannias are 789. Kangaroos are hopping in at 778. And the Krugerrands are 7.99, so 7.78 on those kangaroos. Let's do the math. 7.78 times four. Those are going out at 31.12 times 0.97. If you have the PayPal car credit card or the American Express credit card, which I recommend, links on the website. You're at 30 bucks basically for a kangaroo this morning. How about that? And those will be BU kangaroos. How about junk? Can we get a good deal on junk? And we are going to pay 21.9 times face, about 21.6 after rebates. And a big uh, Merc deal here. The big Mercs are going for 22.5 and under 22 times face for a big bag of Mercs. All right, in the Carson cities, I'm just going to go to the 65s this morning, see if we can find something pretty, something pretty. Come on, ooh, that's nice, 535, 4 and 1884, got a little rim toning there. Yeah, maybe we looked at that one yesterday. Got something else with some toning on it. Oh, I do like the GSA slabs, 545 for this one. They grade them right in the slabs, and these slabs are getting harder and harder to find since most people discarded them in the old days. 1883 MS65 in the slab, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty in the city. All right. I don't know if they undergraded those or not in the old days. i um, not sure. Okay, and if you're looking for a peace dollar and MS64, they're about $60. If you're looking for a high relief peace dollar, they're about $1,500. Silver Libertads, we already did. Cheapest 10-ounce bar. Uh, let's see. Let me adjust my number here just in case I miss something cheap. And nope, didn't miss it, but uh, 2 dollars will get you a varied condition silver bar. Um, and that would be, let's see, 30 and then 90 cents off would be put you around $29 for a silver bar this morning. Um, oh, that's a 4.4. I don't want that. Uh, yeah, about 20, not, about 29 for 10 ounce bars this morning. Holy moly. Any of those nadir bars here? Man, those things melt pretty. Uh, because it's 4.9 silver. I don't know what it is, but boy, I have the best luck with those Nadir bars from Istanbul, and they are 4.9 silver. Uh, a lot of the other silver you see is refined, and, you know, they leave a little crap in there, and it uh, just doesn't turn out as good as the 4.9 silver, but uh, it's hard to find it. Okay, a kilo kook, uh, 1041, about a thousand bucks after rebates, but uh, melt is about 900. How about a roll of kooks? A roll of kooks, 33, uh, 33, 75, about 32, I don't know, kooks in the 32s after rebates. 
and one ounce rounds again in the 29s, low 29s after rebates on a 20 ounce lot, uh, about the same, a little bit more, low to mid 29s. The Samurai Bar in 10 ounce for form is now 308. Wow, did that get cheap. So that's going to be under 300 after a 3% rebate. Johnson Matthew bars are going for as low as 314. And 100 ounce bars, it should be the cheapest of the cheap. Uh, that's probably out of stock, 29.25. Oh, look at that. Oh, sexy. Sexy Johnson Matthew. Look at that, 29.20. As I hesitate and think about buying it, let's see, 2920 times 0.97, getting lost in my reverie. 2832, wow, 2832, that puts it at melt this morning with a 3% rebate. I do have a forge, I can melt a bar like that and turn it into shot, but uh, I'm kind of hoping for a four nines bar if I can find one of those. Uh, let's see if we can get a four nines bar here. Yeah, the Devil Forge um, is the one I have. They only cost about 200 bucks, and you can melt anything you want. Look at that! Wow, went up to th went up to 3,500. Uh, here's a four nines RCM bar, 32.97. Wow, boy, four nines. You got to pay up for it. You regular stackers don't care about that. You should not care at all about four nines versus three nines. But uh, when I'm pouring that extra nine, boy, does it make a pretty bar. Okay, a tube of BU Peace Dollars on eBay, 35 a coin, 34 after rebate. A tube of Morgan's is 37.50, 36.50 after rebates. Get ready for your stocking stuffers. You get to buy some of those for the family, don't you? Okay, platinum can be had, should be a deal today, about $9.70 after rebates for a one ounce platinum. And it was threatening a thousand spot recently. And boy, what a pullback. I won't do the one gram gold. Let's do the one tenth gold anywhere, any kind, because gold is gold, right? 267 for a Britannia, under uh, 2600 melt. Seems like Britannias are given the best uh, value this morning. All right, and in the quarter ounce category, cheapest quarter ounce, uh, 656, any condition, but 665 uh, for BU. Uh, I think those are BU, and that'd be under 660 uh, times four would be not much over melt, guys. Let's see what condition those are. If you're looking for quarter ounce gold, nothing wrong with this, good seller. And looks like it's going to be a Britannia. Uh, securely packaged and no dates guaranteed. Uh, is it BU? Okay, I see nothing that says it's anything less than BU. So probably going to be a very nice Britannia there. Maybe you might even get a proof. That's a very nice gold Britannias, and uh, LCS will buy that back. Probably about two under two percent under spot. So at six sixty four, this is what I call the spread. Six sixty four. You buy it the cheapest you can buy it anywhere. Times point nine seven. Okay, that's going to give you 644 is what you're paying if you have the two credit cards I recommend. If you don't, think about it. And then to get that to be melt times four, uh, 2576 for that one there. And uh, LCS will probably pay you 2% under spot would be the spread on that, about 90 bucks. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's keep going. And for you Eagle fans, if you don't mind paying a little bit more, uh, is $700 in stock? Yes, it is. Small seller. I don't know about that one, but uh, that would be about $680 uh, after rebates. Uh, but Pinehurst has, uh, has quarter ounce eagles. There you go. So about $680 for a quarter ounce eagle this morning on eBay. Uh, looking for one ounce gold. Uh, cheapest one ounce gold is going to be this Manta Ray. Uh, $24.29. That's too cheap. That's out of stock. That is really shitty they leave that stuff up at a price that was good, you know, a month ago. Really shitty. 2443 is going to be out of stock. 
I got to figure out how to get rid of that stuff. 2484 is going to be out of stock. Yeah, why would they sell anything for under melt? Uh, 2500, no, that's 14 karat. Uh, 2550 pickup only. 2570, there you go. Okay, 2570 from Pinehurst Coins. You're going to get a Krugerrand. And it's going to be scruffy, but that is going to be melt. Basically, that's going to be melt if you buy that. I'd probably get the BU. So uh, to get a BU, you're going to be 25. No, that's scruffy as well. Uh, Philharmonic, 2581. That's going to be about 2506. Right around melt on this one ounce Philharmonic. If you're not buying gold from Costco, that'd be the next best place to get it. A Buffalo. Uh, I didn't see anything come out on CNBC. Uh, 2653, and that's going to be 2575 after rebates. Uh, and the commemorative, that is about a 0.24 ounce. Uh, 630 for a $5 commemorative will put you at 630 divide by 0.24. I'll leave off the change. And you're going to be at about 2625. Um, uh, what in the world did I just do? <laughs> 625 uh, uh, divided by... Uh, one second. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. 625 divided by 0.24 gives you the melt price for the retail price, 2604 times 0.97 with a good credit card because you get to use credit cards on eBay, whereas you really have to pay more at most of the dealers. And 2526 for a commemorative. Only 25 bucks over spot, and it is a U.S. sovereign $5 gold coin. And that is how you do that. The alternative to a gold eagle. Yes, it is. Uh, let's skip up to, uh, I don't know, what's gold Libertad going for? 2765, uh, under 2700. Okay, copper pennies, platinum coins, stuff in my store. I sold this little bar yesterday. Boy, what a looker that was. Uh, let's see. We've got a precious metals verifier if you are looking for one. And uh, we've got empty monster boxes and way to bury your treasure. Okay, the food saver to avoid tarnish. And uh, Rolexes and whatnot if you're branching out into other tangible assets. Ways to protect and preserve your life. And the Amex card, the PayPal card. Let's move on to the pick of the day. And the bully Engelhards are gone. But uh, again, I wanted to show you the coin store in Canada. Somebody got these for $385. And um, I would have bought them all at that price. Uh, the Bull logo goes for more than the uh, other vintage bars. Uh, I don't know if they have the backs on here. What are those? Yeah, they're not waffle backs, but uh, very, very cool. Oh, now I lost my place. Yeah, so that's the coin shop in Canada. They will not charge you sales tax. And uh, shipping will be slow. And you have to mail the check. All it means is you got to put two stamps on or three stamps on instead of two to ship to uh, mail to Canada. Mail them your check and then you will be good to go. I highly recommend the coin shop in Canada. For those of you suffering in California, uh, especially for collector coins, uh, you probably won't be buying 10 ounce bars or silver eagles. The best car bar is up at 37.62. I don't go in for these, but you Star Wars fans may want to pick up some best car bars. Maybe for Christmas, give them to your kids at 37 bucks. Uh, 10 ounce bar, this is a prospector bar, is 329, but I don't think I'd pay up the extra 30 bucks there. Uh, gold commemoratives and uh, Dapmex is out of stock, but I like that eBay deal much better. These Silvertown bars are, ooh, ooh, tug at my heartstrings, 350. These are serialized, so those will be old generation bars. 350 guys whoa silvertown you can't find them on ebay anywhere near that price all right we've got 30 gram pandas everything's so cheap today damn it 32.42 i wish i had some money i bought those damn warrior bars and now i'm broke but i'm still happy to have the warrior bars but sometimes when you make a long-term purchase you know then spot falls makes you feel like crap Okay, the Modern Proof Junk is going for $21.95 today. Uh, get yourself a Whitman album and collect ATB or state quarters. Very, very cool. Here's those 
damn warrior bars. They're still in stock. Uh, let's see, 165. So they're about 33 an ounce. How many of the Spartan do you have? Do you have 100? Yeah, uh, let's see if they have 100. Uh, yeah, they got 100. They haven't sold those out yet. I'd love for those to sell out. Uh, the ATBs, uh, we had a deal around 37 an ounce the other day, uh, but those were um, a varied condition. So be very careful, even if you get them at 36 an ounce here, which is a good price. If they say varied condition, maybe tarnished and used condition, yeah, I just, I don't want that. Uh, nobody wants a beat up ATB. You're going to eliminate a lot of the premium on that. Uh, Kilo Koalas, are those a thousand bucks yet? Look at that. Kilo Koala, a thousand bucks. All right. And the Sunshine Mint deal is one of my favorites. And it is uh, 307 now for 10 one ounce uh, Sunshine Mint bars at Liberty. You got to be all over that, guys. Okay. I'm not going to hit the uh, Englehards or the Chunky Scottsdales. Uh, in the gold category, how much is this manta ray here? It actually is for sale at 641 at bullion exchanges. That is a 2520 melt. 25? Did I do that right? 2400 and for 2560 melt on that. I'd wait for the buffalo to come back at Costco. They may drop their price. Okay, we got Peace Dollars pretty cheap. Um, Morgan's pretty cheap as well. Your numismatic collection can be started. They do not change this price. I wonder what the buyback price is on these. Uh, so these are um, 1880s Morgan Silver Dollar, eight coin starter set um, in BU form. Um, 449 if you want to start your Morgan collections uh, and, and and you can trust that when you buy that from a big dealer those are not going to be cleaned all right and uh, what's the una going for 10 ounce una still in stock 318 on that at SD bullion all right skipping past the nickels and the coin shops you really got to check out man they uh, they may be having some great deals today check them out if they're having a deal today with spot low um, it's the time to pounce, in my opinion, of course. I am uh, perma-bullish, but, uh, you know, we, we are not in a downtrend yet. But if we keep going lower, we may reverse this uptrend. Um, so we'll have to see what happens here. But uh, pretty hard to see gold crack, and gold definitely tugs on silver. So I don't think it's going to stay down here. Okay, I appreciate you people that are checking out newretirement.com. There's a two-week free trial and plan your retirement, and you'll be able to retire on time and with more money than if you don't plan it. Plan your assets. Plan when you're going to take Social Security. Plan, uh, you know, your return rate on your investments, your home, your mortgage, your rent, your expenses. Put it all in there and see if what your future will look like. Um, very, very good software for 100 bucks and two-week free trial. Thank you for the cups of coffee. I do appreciate you guys. Also, you guys giving me super chats. Thank you very much for the super chats. I didn't even think that worked on a non uh, live stream i'm still working on the channel membership and i'm trying to come up with the prototype bar for the uh the serialized uh, bar offering that will be part of my youtube membership but uh, haven't been able to get to it and i have to work today it's my one day a week i gotta go to work boo hoo okay gixon is a great sniper tool totally free amazon if you want to pick up a safe or something like that go ahead and do that pay with that amex card and you get i think you get three percent back on Amazon and we've got other deals and other spot deals the Capital One card I said yesterday the 4% um, rebate for eBay is gone I checked again it is gone for me now maybe it's not gone for you okay I've been using the hell out of that whether you buy an iPhone or a precious metals verifier not precious metals right doesn't work for precious metals but I just been getting buku uh, rebates back and I may have maxed out maybe you haven't uh, if you pick up the Capital One card the Quicksilver card it's going to give you one and a half percent cash back um, and um, then you're entitled to these kicker deals, which uh, I picked up 8% off on Chewy yesterday if you need dog food and cat food. It's a great combination, these two cards. Okay, and that Walmart card is gone, as you know. What's going on in the chat room? Let's see. Um, uh, and I'm going to check the markets again. I didn't 
I didn't catch any releases. Either I totally missed them. Wow, the market is down. Looks like it wants to sell off today. And Big Trader is calling a double head and shoulder top. Okay, he's predicting lower prices. Uh, U.S. Mint, uh, okay. Uh, people talking about where they're buying coins without sales tax. Uh, here's the best, uh, best tip of the day. Focus on the color yellow tomorrow for good luck. Okay, well, let's go back and see what spot is. And silver and gold, can they crack it? Yeah, they cracked it below 2500 Of course, it's the futures price of gold and silver that actually uh, move the market. So you really have to look at both the futures price, which, which is typically higher because it's a future price to people for people to uh, obtain their gold and silver. But uh, the spot price is below $2,500. that will get a few people to sell. And silver is down $0.12. Cents. I haven't been down more earlier. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to buy some SLV calls this morning. I like these prices. And uh, let's see, take another look at the GSR. GSR is, uh, yeah, pretty high at 88. Pretty safe time to buy silver unless gold gets crunched. But I mean, who doesn't want gold these days? Okay, and the 10 year is dropping now to 3.886. That's a good sign. And the US dollar is still up. Uh, let me get a, that's a one day chart, so, but it dropped back. Uh, those indicators may have come in um, a little bit weak. Let me see if I can rewind CNBC and see what I missed at 530. Give me just a minute here won't take but a minute. Uh, but it looks like it's a little more constructive right now than it was. Okay, TV does not want to, oh, now I went back to 522. Let's go to 530. What is going on? I think my TV is buffering or updating. All right, I can't find it. But something is going on to uh, to weaken the dollar and uh, lower the 10-year yield, and that could be a good buy point. Uh, whatever you want, put it in your cart, and uh, you know, uh, watch the metals price. If we get a big smackdown, which I don't think so, but if we, uh, more, I think we're more likely to get a rally here. But uh, see the prices moving in the direction that you like. Go ahead and make that purchase. All right, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, and a thumbs up would be nice. Thanks so much. And see you over at the website. Subscribe there as well. Okay, guys. See ya.